welcome to another ASMR video. Um, it's going to be a tour video of my Luxor home, even though I kind of did a tour in the Let's Play uh, further along in the episodes. I can't remember exactly when, I think, maybe episode 7 or 8, something like that, right? Uh, where I got it, and I kind of did a little tour, but it wasn't so good, you know, what I did. Um, this would be much more thorough. And also, about a year ago, I did one already of Luxo Home, but I felt it was kind of long, and it wasn't done as ASMR. So, um, I thought I'd just do it again. And, um, um, and also forgive me, I have my coffee here, I'm drinking. And, um, I thought maybe, you know, you know, I, I typically, usually, I guess, bring a drink. And for this, I guess it kind of works out, because I know sometimes people like listening to the slurpy noises, so that's why. Okay, so let me see. Um, yeah, this is where I am currently, but... Okay, hold on. Let me... Is this good? I think this might be okay. Let me load this one up. I just have to remember when I quit, I'd look at the detail on that metal, oh, that looks so good, I love that, okay, good, my Luxo is over there, oh, okay, this is, this works out perfectly, audio, I think that's good. Hey, Let me come in, Piper. Okay, I need Piper to just stay behind. Oh God, I think maybe it's still a little loud for ASMR. So hold on. Half. Okay. Look at this. Oh my God. You know, I've been playing this, and even though I'm still stunned by the detail and the graphics of everything with the mods that I'm using, again, the mods I'm mostly using, like, honestly, over 90%, maybe 95%, um, are texture, uh, texture mods, retexture or whatever, to upscale things to 2K. And I'm using True Storms. Whereas before I was using NAC, which completely makes it different. You know what? Let me. Let me do this. Does that still work? Okay, good, good. Look, look at this. I just. But see, even though I was amazed by the graphics. I don't typically spend this much time just stopping to smell the roses to look at the graphics really, really close up and good. Because, you know, typically I'm, don't want to say really in a super hurry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry, more in a hurry than this. I, I take my time, but not, not as much as this, since this is a showcase. Look, look at the detail in the metal. Oh my god. Let me just make sure also the radio is, okay, the radio is at a good level. So this is the exterior of my Luxo. That's 
weird looking over there. But I think there's like fog. Also, um, I kind of, let me see, for some of the graphics like shadows, I put it from high to medium. Just to see if it maybe performs a, you know, it performs fine. It's just that it sometimes has the, um, like the pausing, like when it has to load in some new scripts or information, I don't know whatever you call it, but like, for example, whenever uh, it's updating a quest or if I'm about to say something new after discovering something and there's a revelation or I'm about to go into a dialogue with someone or open up my pip boy it'll pause for maybe about 10 seconds or so and then not when I say pause or freeze I don't mean crash the desktop I mean it just freezes for about 10 seconds or so and then resumes and there's my laser turret my satellite dish look at this oh look and the exhaust whatever you know because of the appliances inside so the smoke is gonna come out there on the chimney I love that the only thing I wish that this had was in the back here was maybe a <coughs> like a type of platform that comes out I don't know like maybe a few feet or so um, to accommodate the power armor I have a power armor station with, with a platform thing mounted in the back here so I could just store the power armor I think it would be perfect okay so that's the exterior look at the flag this is so great okay so it's being pulled up by that tank this is the Luxo let's go check it out Let's see, should I, what should I start off as? Here's my power armor. Let's start off over here in the kitchen living room area. First, this is a very nice little feature. This is a water purifier. So long as you have dirty water on you. I don't have dirty water. Shit, I thought I, oh, sorry, I thought I did. Sorry about that. There's a kitchen. With, um, what is this supposed to be? Is this like an ice box or something? My espresso machine. So I can add a cup of coffee. You brew yourself a hot cup of joe. So this is quite cool. Where's my food? Where's food? It's eight, okay. Cup of coffee, look at that. It gives me back my AP, 200 AP. So, with my action points run out, just quickly drink up a coffee, and it's basically like a drug, so it suddenly gives me adrenaline and it restores my AP. I should be brewing a few of these at least and take them with me and it heals me for 40 and it looks like it's over time okay i see now again like i said with the pausing see how it's fine it doesn't do it all the time but sometimes every once in a while every so often or once in a while not not often but if i do this to go into my thing I would hit it, but then it would just pause like this. Everything is frozen. So, see the steam is moving. It won't do that. So, let me just go here. It would just say, I opened it up here. It will freeze for about 10 seconds. And 10 seconds later, there, it will open up. Get it? So, that's the issue I'm having. And I think that's because of the graphical mods. So, here's my fridge. Where I put my food in there. Look at the details, look at the details. Cook a bun to cake. The 
these are all static. Little kitchen, terrible. Everything is so cute and adorable, the cutlery. Oh, I love that. The chair. You can sit upon it and get a nice look at the place. My TV, which of course you just have to pretend that, I don't know, you have like a hollow tape or something to watch old movies in. Paper, Nuka Cola. Oh God, I, this is. I am uh, amazed at this. Oh, you can see that this is the bathroom. It's already open, but let's close that for now. Okay, my radio. Little toys. Little library here with my save. I just put stuff in there. My collection of Nuka Colas. Look at that. Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka Cola Quantum. And a couple of Nuka Orange and Nuka Cherry. Nuka World. Oh, God, look at that. So, so cool. It's like a little Nuka Shrine, right? A Nuka Cup. A Nuka Cola uh, clock, a lamp, like I said, the TV, can I turn this on or off, okay, I can't, okay, I have an armor rack, and I have one over there, a mannequin, this is, a, this is a place where I could brew up drugs, you know, but I mean, I guess the only drug I would brew up would be the stim pack, um, but who knows, I say I don't take drugs now, but who knows, in desperate times, I, I may, in the heat of battle, I think I'll be glad I have like a buff out or something. Unlike Red Axe and Rad Away, that stuff, and Mentats. So, I, for now, I'm trying to re refrain from that, but who knows, one day I may have to resort to drugs. Alright, and now, look at my bathroom. This is a, um, you know, the barber chair so you can remake your face and, you know, change your hair, your skin, whatever. You cannot change your sex, of course, but just to re-sculpt re yourself, re your face. love the details. It's just so immaculate. Comic books on the top of the toilet, I mean, and a newspaper, wow. My sink, toothpaste, toothbrush, the mirror, and a medicine cabinet. A wash dryer. shower. So cool. Okay, I'll be ending this shortly. Well, one more stop to go. It's really small and cute. I love this. I know it's been a while since I did an ASMR video on that. I mean, I, I try to do a variety of stuff. I don't consider myself a really good ASM artist. You know, there are many far, far grander than I, but I, oh, hey, I have dirty water here. Okay, I took the dirty water, so now you get to see this demonstration. Yeah, you see? Now it turns to dirty water and purifies it. You see what I mean? How cool is that, huh? Okay, my power armor, the T-60, uh, with a jetpack. Okay, these are just controls and stuff to see how it works. I guess to see if my water's running low and stuff like that. It's just for show. It doesn't do anything. Just for flavor. But God, it, it adds to it so much. Okay, this is the navigation. 
computer. Voltec Lux Home Network. Dear valued customers, the folks here at Voltec and Robco are happy to finally present to you our latest innovation with the threat of nuclear devastation becoming more of a reality. We have constructed mobile vaults such as this one to keep you safe and comfortable while you await the all-clear signal from vault tech specialists. Although our underground vaults are more than comfortable and adequate, we understand some customers prefer this option. Please select a destination and the Ramco automated system will handle the rest. Sincerely, vault tech Ramco executive. Okay, and then of course you go back and you can pick where you wanted to drive to and it just works like a fast travel. So I click on these and it takes me to that region and I get out and I'll be there in wherever I picked, but we won't do that. It's just like a fast travel, like I said. Look at that, that wood, the, I don't know what kind of, is that like maple or something or redwood I, I don't know my wood so and a nice comfortable bed magazine rack look at that there turn it that way much better see you could see it better what i have two different kinds of propco magazines i'm glad that you know this has static stuff Whew. and i love how it still has new condition stuff because I've seen a wrecked clock like this, but the stuff here is more or less pristine still. Some of it is old looking like that, but it doesn't matter. Okay, my file cabinet. Oh, look, at the car. A vault -Tec. This was the vault mobile that was, uh, you know, at the very beginning with that um, representative that was trying to sell me the vault. Uh, during the very beginning of this, you look out the window in the living room and you see that vehicle. Super cool. My file cabinet, hollow tapes, more magazines, comics. Look at this. I love how he just takes his work and play, you know, equally as important. lighting. Oh, what'd I do? Okay, there. Whoops. <laughs> of course, at my desk here, spare clothes, so you know, the vault suit, vault 111, of course, shades, uh, cigar, still lit. I have my clothes in here, a cup, and of course, you know, I'm gonna have my liquor here at easy access to drink it. This is a map of the wasteland here. So this is where, oh it tells me all the stops you see. So this is where the Luxo home was originally. Um, I think this is the uh, Diamond City area there's another area, this might be by Great Garden. And up here, this is by Concord, I believe. So these are the destinations where your Luxo will take you. I only have two baubles here. Speech and perception. I have a buff outro, why do I have that here? I would think that, you know, I would want to go to sleep in a stim pack, but that's okay. And my weapon rack. I, I thought I put a weapon up here, but I thought I put like the junkies thing, but junk junkies. Yeah, okay, look at that. How lovely. So I mean, sure it'd be cool if it had a few more weapon racks, but honestly I think two is good enough. And you just store the rest, you just put your top favorite ones up here at a time. then, you know, put your favorite armors and stuff and clothes on the mannequins. On, did you see this? This is the workbench here. 
we're crafting weapons and upgrading them. And Abraxo to clean. It's kind of like abrasion. Um, oh, I don't, oh, I forgot what you call that, but the metal, like steel wool. It's steel wool, I believe, and you can use that to polish your armors, which is what I use to polish my polish my uh, T60. Here's a place for dog meat. Wow, it's really dark, you know. Like I said, the lighting is so great. And here's some chew toys and a water dish. enjoyed it.